Hello my fly babies, my patrons. Today is Tuesday and it, we have a two layer cake because it's our free day. So our first layer is our basic routine and that starts with our morning routine. So we're gonna get up in the morning, go into the bathroom, wash our face, brush our teeth, moisturize our skin, put on a little makeup if you wear it, a little jewelry if you wear it, a little perfume if you wear it, fix your hair, get your clothes on, put your pajamas away, wipe out the sink, swish the toilet, hang up the towels, Ta-da, go into the kitchen, make some coffee, empty the dishwasher, um, and if there's no one in the bed, make your bed. Then once you're done, you're gonna feel great. You're gonna feel centered. You'd have, you've had a sip of something warm to drink. You feel taken care of, you look nice, you smell nice, you are nice. So you're gonna go wake up your babies and you're gonna say, good morning, kids. Good morning, it's a beautiful day. Let's go ahead and get our morning routine done so we can get on our way. And so they're going to wake up to a nice, peaceful mom instead of a crazy mom, right? No one wants to wake up to a crazy mom. <laughs> so they're going to get up, and you're going to instruct them. Go into the bathroom, wash your face, brush your teeth, get, this, get the toothpaste out of the sink, hang up your towel, brush your hair, put on your clothes, put your pajamas away or in the dirty clothes, go make your bed, and you're going to watch. You're going to stay there because you don't have anything else to do. You've taken care of yourself. Make your bed. Remember, straighten the bottom sheet. Good job. Pull the cover up. Excellent. Put your pillow at the top. Good. Do you want to put anything on your bed? You do? Okay, put your baby on the bed. That looks great. Let's go eat breakfast. Okay, so they're starting out with, with positive affirmations, and they are really making an effort, and you're very proud of them for that. So they're going to come in and have some breakfast. There may be one or two other little things that you put in your children's morning routine. Maybe one of them feeds the dog. Maybe one of them does something else. Um, maybe they both, or all three, or 15, or however many you have, make breakfast. Uh, I mean, make uh, their lunch if they're going to school. Um, maybe not. It's okay. Whatever it is. And then go on to school. So you're going to leave the house as a payroll fly baby feeling confident that everything's been taken care of this morning and that we, when you come home the dishes are in the dishwasher. The dishwasher is basically empty but the breakfast dishes are in there. You took a second to wipe the counter off. Um, the kids rooms look nice. The bathroom looks nice. It's a good way to come home. Okay. If you are staying at home, you're going to jump right into the next thing, which is the second routine. The second routine is the laundry. So you are going to do a load of laundry on your free day. So get it in the machine, get it going. While it's going, you're going to go through an inch of paper. That's your third routine. Then you're free. You have free day because your next routine isn't until the afternoon or after dinner in the evening when you have after dinner routine and before bed routine. There is one other thing, you have to inspect what you expect with your children and you'll need to be doing three clutter checks, one after breakfast, one after lunch, one after dinner. If you're working, you're going to go to work and when you come home, you're going and you're going to remember about that. If you've delegated that basic weekly plan to give a call to the kids, I'm on my way home, make sure that you, whatever it is you've asked them to do, and then when you get home that you inspect what you expect. You do your second clutter check of the day. You did your first one after breakfast. And um, then you start your laundry and go through an inch of paper. And then that's it. There's nothing else for you to do besides make dinner. And it's one of those days where you have a free day. So do something for you. And uh, then everybody does the before bed routine for yourself and your children. If you find yourself exhausted, do yours first. You know, I've heard, somebody wrote me a note the other day that said she was so exhausted she falls into bed before the rest of the family and she doesn't take care of herself. And I, I would say to you, and I answered her this way as well, if you're, if you're like that person, which I'm assuming there are some, and I have been in that position myself, we all have. But if this is happening to you regularly, it's now a habit, I want you to go in the bathroom, wash your face, brush your teeth. That's gonna revive you a little bit. Not enough to keep you from going to sleep, but enough so that you can get your children through their routine. You can finish the kitchen. You know, do that before bed routine, which means wipe the sink and make sure everything's in the dishwasher and the dishwasher's running. Put out a new towel, then go to bed. You're gonna sleep better, because when you wake up in the morning, it's gonna look better and it's gonna be better. And I don't know about you, but I actually sleep better when I've taken care of the things I wanted to do, okay? All right, that's it for today. Have a fabulous day, and always remember that you are beautiful.